Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So my name is Sam and today we're going to talk about how you know that you have too much stuff. We're all guilty of it. Sometimes we hoard things, sometimes we have too much stuff. And how do you know if you're that person? Well, we're going to go through those steps. So step number one is, oh, I forgot I had that. If you say that, you have too much stuff because you should be able to find every little item that you have because you shouldn't have many of them. So you should know the location of all of them. Now, number two is you have a lot of just-in-case items. Like I have a just-in-case this happens or just-in-case we go hiking or maybe you're not a hiker and it's, oh, just-in-case we go hiking or, oh, just-in-case this. Like I have a couple shirts that I keep where I'm like, oh, just-in-case I do some gardening and I or I do some like outdoor work and I need a shirt to get dirty in. I don't do that. So I have no reason to have these scrappy clothes. Just get rid of them. Throw them out. Number three is, do you feel like your house is always not presentable? Do you always feel that when people say like, oh yeah, sure, like I'll swing by, and you're like, uh, yeah, I'll pick you up, it's fine, you know? Then because you don't want people to come in your house and see the messiness, or you say, oh no, if someone come over, then I need to spend four hours cleaning. If that's you, that means you have too much stuff. Go ahead, get rid of some items. Fourth one is, does cleaning stress you out? Or does cleaning take essentially like the whole day to do? If you say like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning. And then you start cleaning the whole entire house and you're literally there for like four, five, six, seven hours. Like for me, since I became a minimalist and since I have less stuff, I don't really do a cleaning day. I just clean after I'm done with things. I just, if I use a cup, I wash it and I put it away. Or if I use a, you know, a blow dryer, I'll use my blow dryer and then put it back in the designated spot. And that kind of goes back, it circles back to my first point of knowing everything that you have because everything needs to have a spot. Now, number five is it takes you too long to get dressed or to do your laundry. Because if you have too many clothes, then the laundry sometimes piles up because it's a lot to do. So as well as if you go to your closet and there's 47 outfits to wear, like you'll see here in these videos, I wear maybe like 10 different outfits that I rotate. So in that case, I really don't have that many clothes. I have a few shirts, a few pants. They're just pretty basic items that I could wear during any occasion. So if you guys do see that I have so many of the same outfits, uh, it's not just because I have favorites of them. It's just because that's all I have. There's no point to have extra items rather than just those few staple items. Number six is, do you not have enough space in your home? If you're going or even thinking about possibly getting like a storage unit or even buying like little storage containers to put in your house. Like maybe you have too many things in your house. So you say like, okay, I'm gonna go to Ikea or Target or something and buy boxes to put my stuff. That's when you know that you have too much stuff. I have very little stuff so I don't even need a box to put stuff because I don't even have the stuff to put in that box. So maybe that tells you that you need to purge a little bit of your stuff, kind of get rid of things. If you guys want me to post a video on that as well, how to purge things, how to get rid of stuff, because uh, this is something that I've been working on in the last, um, I'd say, couple years, but really just in general, because I've always tried to, you know, incorporate this like minimalistic attitude and minimalistic outlook. But let me know if you want me to post something there. Now, next tip is, are you the type of person that you rearrange your room to try and make it look less cluttered, like all the time? And you put your bed here, and then you go ahead and you put your bed on the other side, or you move the couch here, and then you move it there, and you think like, oh, now it's gonna you know, look a lot nicer in here, and it's gonna open up the space. If that's you, and you're trying to figure out ways to open up your space, then it tells you that you might have a couple extra things than what you need. If you just take away more things in your room, that will also declutter your room and give you more space too. Now, number eight is if you say, I need a bigger home. Now, obviously there's extraneous circumstances. If maybe your family grows and you get a couple extra people and now you need an extra room to you know, have a better room in, that's completely different. But if it's just you and your fiance and, or you know, in my case, me and my fiance, and if I said, hey babe, I think we need a bigger home. Currently now we live in about a 750 foot uh, square foot apartment. So we live in a very small place, but 
If I outgrew that, it means that I outgrow it with stuff, probably. So if I start telling him with not having kids or not having anything like that and start telling him that, oh, babe, I think we need a new apartment. I think we need a, need a new house. Then, um, oh, and I also want to give a disclaimer. I say uh, apartment, but we just live on the second floor because we have a two-family house. So if uh, that kind of clarifies, actually, I'll post a video up here that kind of explains all that. But regardless, anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, essentially, what's going on there is if you need to upgrade your house, you probably have too much stuff. Number nine is you can't find something that you own. This again kind of circles back to one of my other points when I was talking about the blow dryer and I put it away and I put it in that spot. If you can't find something, that means it doesn't have its designated spot. That means that you have too many things that get lost in the clutter. So if you cannot find something that you own and you're searching around like crazy, like, oh, I know it's here, I know it's here. I know that I have it, but you can't find it. That's another sign. And last and final tip, tip number 10 is, well, not necessarily tip, but last and final sign that you know that you have too much stuff is if you have doubles or triples of things. Now, it's a little bit different if you're being a minimalist and you have like five of the same shirt because you just want to wear all that on the same day. That's fine. That's not what I mean. But I mean, if you have like three different hairbrushes, why do you need three different hairbrushes? All of the hairbrushes do the same thing, brush your hair. So just say, okay, this is my favorite one and then give the other ones away. Throw the other ones out, get rid of the others. And I noticed that, that I had that as well. I had like a couple different combs. I had a couple different hairbrushes and I said, why do I need all these? Let me just get rid of it. Just let me save my one favorite one. And now it declutters my space. It declutters my house as well. So those are our 10 tips to show you that maybe you need to declutter a little bit. And we're all guilty of it. So if you feel like, oh, yep, that's me. Oh, that's me too. That's me. And you think that all these things are you and you're checking all those things on your list. No big deal. We all were there were once. But let's start to try and declutter ourselves and start that journey of minimalism. And trust me, you're going to appreciate it. Things are going to be so clean and so much better. It's going to actually help clear your mind, help you be more productive, help you be happier, healthier. It's going to lead into all those positive things in your life. So I highly, highly suggest that I'm on my journey. I hope you guys go on your journey as well. So with that, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Also comment down below. Let me know what stage you are in your journey. And if the, any of these things are you, uh, if you're guilty of any of this, as well as make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you get notified every single time that I post more videos. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.